Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video this is October 13th today so we will be painting as you can see a ginkgo leaves and as the previous as in previous videos I will be using this Hannah Miller sketchbook and some etcher ink pens also I will be using this brush from Raphael this is soft aqua zero uh, number zero this is Dyna number four and also a pencil eraser and i will be using this uh, watercolors from viviva color sheet these are quite super for on the go you can just grab them and carry them with ever you want wherever you want with you and have uh, watercolors to paint with so i will start with um, i will start with my sketch and i do have here a few ginkgo leaves sketched and um, I'm just gonna place them now in a composition I'm gonna do three leaves and two are gonna be a little bit bigger and this one is going to be folded slightly folded so let's get to the sketching as you can see those are half circles this is also done in a half circle but not the entire and this one is somewhat a triangle so that those are the basic shapes that we're gonna put onto our paper so first we have a we have a half circle I'm gonna do that one here like that that's gonna be the largest one and that going like that downwards then we will have this one this one is going to go like that also half circle but actually this is one quarter of a circle like that and then we have the third one I'm gonna do this one is going to be a triangular shape like that those are the shapes and I'm just gonna paint in on actually draw in the leaves now and for the first one you see just do a um, a wiggly line curvy line like that and from that curvy line we do have our those uh, veins on our leaf like that so those are gonna be just the basic we're gonna do with the pencil just the basic lines and then we have in our uh, one quarter of a circle same thing again like that and this one just here slightly down and then this one will be somewhat like a broken one a little bit different and then the last one like that that's gonna be our second our second leaf and then the third one as I said it's going to be in a triangle it's going to have this curve so let's do the curve right away going slightly down like that and have actually one more curve here and then again a few of those just going to the central part like that and then here like that so that's going to be our that's going to be our ginkgo leaves we can move that away right now just going to do one like that so now again with that zero 05 i'm going to go over my initial basic sketch this time I will be doing a sketchy lines like that and the last one and the stem like that so for the second Like that, I'm gonna curve 
this one slightly like that and the last one you said this one has a nice curve here There you go, these are gonna be our ginkgo leaves. Actually, I need to do the stem for this one. Like that. So those are our ginkgo leaves. Now I will just erase that pencil. And just And now I will just use a little bit smaller, this is a 01, and do a little bit more of the details. And I will start with this one, just add a few up top lines. Some make a little bit longer. Just leaving those that are gonna be our larger veins visible. I don't want to get them lost like that and maybe some few here at the bottom and also up there just following the curve of my veins, largest veins and that leaf and just a few here like that so I won't be fussing about the details here just a few of them again same thing here like that and some a little bit longer this is from the center like that and then we have few here and as I said some of them are gonna be a little bit longer some shorter so I do want to make those lines visible so I'm just going on top of them making them the central lines and everything we do here at this point is just I just do details like that Like that and for the just maybe make one thicker also on those like that and then move on to the last one again do those larger stains, central veins a little bit more visible emphasized like that and just a few of those smaller ones like that make them broken you can see I'm not really trying to make everything perfect it doesn't have to be perfect so to the last like that so there you go those are our leaves ginkgo leaves and now we'll just add a little bit of the watercolor 
and I'm gonna get I'm gonna start with the sap green this is going to be there you go some sap green I'm gonna start with that one and just add it onto my leaves here and there rinse my brush and just move that paint slightly around like that then I will get this is olive green but this is from a, another set olive green and then do a little bit of the darker shades here at the center and here I'm gonna do those darker shades then just again move that paint wet it and slightly move it around so this was olive green and I will use also this this is tree bark brown <laughs> So I'm gonna do that here on the edges and also for our stem like that and just again pick up some paint and just spread that slightly around and also I will put that on the edges not all the edges but here and there somewhere like that and also this one like that just to add a little bit of that brown into our leaves and just a little bit of that's from the other one this is Again, that yellow ochre. I'm gonna get that one. And just at the tops of our leaves here and there, just add that yellow ochre. It's a very beautiful, vibrant color. And it kind of does look a little bit like um, full color so like that and I will get some of that again a sub green and get just any palette you have uh, accessible I'm gonna put it there and just do a couple of Flatters with that. Maybe also move a little bit of the paint. Just to make it bleed and to make this slightly looser. Like that. So let's dry that now. So these are now dry and I will do a one more thing just with the brown we have. This is again that it's going to be here actually. That's going to be that tree bark brown, tree bark brown. With that tree bark brown, I will just add a little bit more of the details to the edges. Just go over the top. my ginkgo leaves and then just move that paint slightly downwards like that and you can of course add in some parts a little bit more of the paint just to make some parts a little bit darker like that 
and also here on this side and just again smudge it, soften it with a clean water. You can prepare yourself two brushes, so one for the paint and one with a clean water, clean brush that you can just use for spreading. Paint like that, and I'm gonna get a little bit more here in this corner. Just to add a little bit more of the interest also there, like that. And also same thing for the second one. My paper is quite hot right now because I was drying it with a hair dryer, so the paint dries very quickly. So if you did use a hair dryer also to avoid that, just leave your paper for a couple of seconds to dry slightly so you don't have to you don't have the problems with those lines, right? From watercolor drying like that and then moving on to the next one. Softening that. Edge. And then next one you can also bring it down slightly into your petal leaf right move from the corners and get inside of the leaf if that's what you like I want to add a little bit more here and a little bit more here to make those parts slightly darker. Again, soften it. And I'm gonna get a little bit more here, like that. So that's for the second. See how nicer this one looks compared to this one? Well, I do like it better. Not sure. Maybe that's not your thing, so you can definitely skip this, but I really do like that. Soften it, then, then second. Again, soften it. Tap in a few dots here just to make some of the edges darker. Like that. And the last few petals, actually those <laughs> leaves, those are not petals, right? I'm just persistent in saying petals, but not petals. And just a teeny tiny bit here, just stop in like that. And I'm gonna again add on the corner. And that's it. Looks very, very much more sophisticated. And I'm gonna get some of that brown and do a few splatters with that, a little bit of the water. just to make this bladder slightly larger. Like that, and a few up there. I'm thinking whether or not I want to add some white splatters. I will do that, just to stay consistent to my Inktor Plus Watercolor series. Just add a few dots 
So I will link also down in the description box a playlist with all these Inktober paintings. So if you missed some of them, you can definitely join in and still manage to do all of them. So now we are done. We are done with October 13th. Well, I really do like this one. This one turned out quite nice. So guys, we are done. Thank you so much for joining in this video. Also, if you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment. That would definitely help uh, get this uh, video to a wider audience. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any future of my videos, this series, and then what is followed. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.